Whether I know where I am or not, I don't feel lost. Who am I to just be chasing the dollar signs? You know, everything that I do and everything that I want to be is very selfish. I want to be my wife's biggest lover. I want to be my son's hero. I want to be my daughter's prince. I want to be my dad's proudest moment. And then the flip side is the conservation and the land. I want to do all of that that's right for it, for everybody else, so that everybody else can experience the lifestyle that I have. So what do you do now? Trying to freaking you use all the ink. You know, when most people think of Justin Lee, they think of a spear fisherman. You know, I think what most people look at, you know, via its Instagram or in the local town that I grew up in, as the guy that gives fish to the neighbors. But as soon as you start to scratch the surface a little bit, you realize that I'm an outdoorsman and a big family man. You ready? Growing up in a household where education and experiences are invaluable, we were pushed to see the world as much as we can. And Hawaii is never gonna leave, you know, so you might as well go see the rest of the world or go experience something else. I went away to college, and I remember coming back home after my freshman year. And the first thing that Wayne and I did was we went up to the top of the mountain we hunted birds and hunted pigs. And I was like, this is what I'm missing. Sick, this is epic. It was just that whole connection of what Hawaii really meant to me. I was like, screw this, I gotta go back home. I painted in my head was that, you know, if I was the kid from high school that went away, didn't make it in the big city and had to move back home, that was me failing. You know, going out and seeing the world and coming back and getting to and make a difference where your roots are was the successes that I was looking for. I don't want to just survive. I want to thrive. How was we? Crazy. This crazy mother trucker didn't even drink a bottle of water. <laughs> the first time I went to the Black Sand Beach, we walked in when I was 12 years old. What do you think, Wayne? Should we do this more than every 15 years? <laughs> I don't think I've ever walked into the black sand beach without Wayne. There isn't anything I want more for my son and my daughter than to have a friend like Wayne, and someone that they can trust that no matter where they are in the world, they can look at each other and be like, we got this, and forge forward, make food, make home, and live comfortable. It's trips like this that, you know, it's just cemented the fact that this is a brother of mine that I want to have a part of my life forever. And hopefully the lessons that we've learned together will pass on to our kids. I never thought that I would come back. I thought maybe somewhere on the Big Island, but I never thought from a car. 
now back here, it has cemented the appreciation for the childhood that I grew up with. And maybe it's selfish as well, but I really, really hope my son and my daughter have the same upbringing as I did. You know, running around barefoot, feral child, pellet gun, chasing frogs, chasing pigs in the town pastures around Honoka. My daughter's almost halfway to the age that I was when I first walked in, which is a crazy realization for me, that it's, it's almost time. What are we doing now? Um, drawing her hunting. What are we doing, Pate? We're gonna go hunting. Yeah, we're gonna go hunting. We're gonna get to the fence. As a father of two, how do I try and push that ideals of my dad and my ideals onto my kids is by introducing them to the outdoors. Ready to go. Making them excited to go up to the mountain. Making it a fun environment for them to just roam and be a part of it. Ah! That first trip that they're gonna go by themselves, the big conversation about what it meant to go there and what it meant to, to experience the things will come after that first walk in. What you felt was important were you there? What were the struggles you had? What were the successes you felt? You know, and then have that conversation about what it meant when they came back. The lessons that they learned. I mean, the lessons that I learned. I've never even thought that it wasn't important to carry it on. So when someone asks, why is it important to pass on the stewardship and the lifestyle that you've lived? Is that hopefully this lifestyle and this thoughtfulness for the environment really pushes forward to my kids so that the legacy that I live behind, Justin was a great father, Justin was a great son, he was a great husband, and he was a great conservationist to ensure what he loved was able to be loved by the next generation.